Good morning, Gulf High. Today is Monday, September 24th, 2018. I'm Lesanne Wahika, coming to you from WBUC Studios with today's school news. The word of the day today is toxic, an adjective meaning poisonous. Since many chemicals are toxic, drinking from random flasks in the chemistry lab could be hazardous to your health. For lunch tomorrow, we'll be having PBJ, beef teriyaki nuggets, brown rice, vegetable egg roll, pizza, and salad bar. And now for today's weather forecast. Fall is here, but you wouldn't know it by living here in Florida, with a high of 92 degrees and a low of 77 degrees, with a 40% chance of rain in the afternoon. Have a great day, Bucks. In 1789, the first Supreme Court was established, and in 1996, Stephen King releases two books at once. Here's some news, Bucks. Kanye West and Sun Saint throw first pitch at Cubs White Sox game. Drake cancels Miami concerts due to illness. Here's the riddle of the day. What tastes better than it smells? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. Homecoming shirts will be sold during all lunches on Thursdays and Fridays. Shirts will be $10. Please remember, if you participate in any day or night games, you must purchase a shirt. Whoa! Caught a big one! Huh, I wish I had some friends to share my love of fishing with. Oh, hey, Hope. Hey, Tori. That's a big one. It sure is. I wish we had some friends to fish with and confide in about our fishing skills. Me too. Hmm, we should do something with this. We really should. Hi, I'm Hope Anderson, president of the Women's Fishing Club. Hi, I'm Tori Tate, Vice President of the Women's Fishing Club. If you have an interest in fishing or fish studies, please join our club. You can find more information in Matt Aloni's room at 227 or see us personally. The first meeting is October 1st. It's a Monday, right after school in Mr. Matt Aloni's room. And don't forget, it's co-ed. The Photography Club will meet every third Friday of the month starting September 21st. Gulf High School is happy to host the Cinderella Project from Homecoming again this year. Short, semi-formal homecoming dresses will be available at no cost to Pasco County students on September 26th, 27th, and 28th after school from 2 to 5 p.m. The Cinderella Project team will stay until 7 p.m. on Thursday with the parent night. If you have dresses you would like to donate, please bring them to the front office and Mrs. Luda will take them. Students who are interested in joining the SWAT or Students Working Against Tobacco Club needs to come to room 110 in the reading hallway, Mrs. Dittman's room, next Wednesday, September 26 at 2 p.m. The boys and girls team had a great showing at the Mitchell Invitational Cross Country Meet. Out of 40 teams, the boys varsity placed fifth, edging out rival Mitchell High School for the first time this season. The team was led by John Jessup, who placed fifth overall, and followed closely by Dylan Persino, who also placed in the top 20 overall. The girls' team placed 17th out of 40 teams. Jacqueline Rooney led the pack of the Buccaneers and was closely followed by Megan Perlmutter, Olivia Jackson, and Maya Skinner. The boys' JV team finished 7th, and the girls' JV team finished 8th. The Gulf High School yearbook offers a creative way to show the pride you have for graduating senior. The special dedications may include baby pictures, current pictures, and a message to your graduate. Senior dedication page forms will have been distributed to your ELA teacher. Please see your English teacher or Ms. Evans in room 251 for information and an order form. So, Linda, can you either hum our fight song or say our alma mater by memory? I can hum the fight song. Go for it. Okay. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, Megan, can you either recite our alma mater or hum our fight song by memory? Um, I know a little bit of the alma mater. Go for it. On our cities, the eastern border, and I don't know the rest. Well, that's all, folks. So, can you recite our alma mater by memory or hum our fight song? Hum the fight song. Okay, go for it. Sounds about right. 
So, can you tell me if you have the alma mater memorized or can hum the fight song? Uh, no ma'am, what's that? Awesome. So, can you recite the alma mater by memory or hum the fight song? Of course I can, I got you. On our city's eastern border, sheltered by the sky, proudly stands our alma mater as the years go by. Forward ever be our watchword, steps and voices cry. Hail to thee, our alma mater, hail to thee, to all golf high. Lift the chorus, beat it onward, loud, loud her praises cry. Hail to thee, our alma mater, hail to thee, golf high. Wow, all committed to memory. Amazing! <laughs> So, can you either um, recite our alma mater or hum our fight song by memory? Oh, I can definitely hum that fight song. Go for it! Tweet, 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 tweet! Bum, 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 very cool. Wow. <laughs> so, Coach Bruno, can you either say the alma mater by memory or hum the fight song by memory? Fight song. Go for it. That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> FBLA is having a meeting this Thursday after school in the Media Center. FBLA members can sign up for their competitions in Dr. Soto Molinay's room, 111. All FBLA members must pay their $25 dues to Dr. Soto Molinay by October 1st. So what tastes better than it smells? A tongue. For more information, please refer to the scroller. That's all for our news. Have a great National Cherry Jubilee Day, Golf High.